My name is Jason Bell. I'm a mechanical engineer during the week, and for the last 20 years, a base jumper on the weekends. My human catapult project began several years ago with two main goals. Number one, to keep my engineering skills sharp. And number two, the catapult would become an exciting instrument used to launch base jumpers over the edge of the 876 foot tall New River Gorge Bridge during Bridge Day. Since base jumpers have always sought new ways to enjoy their sport, a pneumatically powered catapult system capable of launching jumpers up to 20 feet high and 50 feet away from the bridge railing just might keep them busy for a while. Within a few weeks of receiving the welded framework from Tri-State Electric and Machine and assembling the main components, I was ready to determine if this contraption will work. Since the 2-inch piping from my custom air compressor was not ready, I used a small garage air compressor and 3 8 inch air hose to power the catapult. That's the wimpy battery. So anyway, we're going to test the catapult for the first time just to make sure it actually works before we uh, get too far in the process here. So I'm just going to try to raise it slowly. A big piece of metal can fly at me. This little shield's only going to keep me about 2% more beautiful. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh my goodness. 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 The project started with some complex calculations, a 3D computer rated drafting program and the purchase of several 10-inch diameter pneumatic cylinders weighing up to 500 pounds each. Throughout the next nine months, the design matured into a 20-foot long, 2,500-pound structure. Okay, kids, come ride it. No, no. Oh yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Thick plug in the opposite side, it's just a dust cap, and whenever you put air pressure, it blows out like that. So is it going to blow out like that every time? Okay, no, it's gone, I, I, yeah, the plug's out now, it's probably laying around it somewhere. <laughs> where, where? There it is, right there, that yellow thing, see it? Uh -huh. I blew it out in the basement one night while you guys were sleeping. Yeah, I, I remember. Boom! <laughs> it's really loud. All right, do it again a little faster. That was pretty cool. That was your furthest yet, honey. How many? <laughs> is it scary? But like, how many launches is that for you now? Four. And you're the second person ever to launch this. Very scary. Is it exciting or what? It's exciting. It is. Hey, but I'm very nervous. When we do human testing soon, I will not be launching. You can launch me, okay? No. <laughs> I will not be launching for your. You're time. the only one that's experienced with this. <laughs> All right, good job. You're you're now certified to run the catapult. <laughs> With any unique project like this, problems will surface. I originally selected a set of stock pillow block bearings to serve as the fulcrum. While stress testing the catapult, one of these bearings fractured. I quickly realized that it was time to design my own plain bearings with bronze pushing inserts, since nothing I could find could do the job. Sandbag testing also revealed that the catapult needed additional shock and vibration dampening. The catapult was now ready for a human being. Joe Caulfield, the first sucker to go off the catapult. What do you think about that, buddy? Well, 
I've been on many adventures with Jason Bell, but this is by far the strangest and oddest that I have encountered. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it goes, but I have complete and total faith, mostly in Jason's work. So we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll give it a try here. Uh, no one else really rushed to be first. I'm not sure quite why, but this should be a blast. Awesome. Hey, hey I've never let you down so far, Joe. Not yet. I'm um, gonna let you down gently here in just a minute <laughs> into the water. Uh, hopefully not <laughs> gently enough that I clear the end of the dock. That's the only yeah, that's right, exactly. All right, have a good one, man. Thanks. See you. Six, five, four, three, two, one. As you might expect, one cannot simply Google how to build a human catapult system as there are only a handful in existence around the world. Since my design was focused on launching base jumpers over a bridge, it added additional complexity in accommodating jumpers with parachutes on their backs and large crowds located close to the action. This catapult had to be powerful and reliable, yet mobile and self-powered. Now it's time for uh, the designer to get in the chair and uh, let the student launch me. It's pretty scary, actually. So I guess this system works. We'll have to hopefully enter the water perfectly and not hurt myself so I can launch other people. I don't know. I'm a little nervous. All right, Larry, your thoughts. You're going to be catapulted first today in the All water. All right, looking forward to it. I think it's a great system. I'm ready to test it. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do, like a double backflip or anything? Or Oh, yeah, with a little twist. And, yeah. You know, something, something real stylish. Yeah. What do you think about your daddy being launched in the cool. catapult? Cool, you want to go? Yeah. All right, Greg, have a good one. Heart rate's elevated. Heart rate's <laughs> elevated. Shape body's shaking a little bit. All right. Seeing my catapult come to life and being launched into Maple Lake for the first time was one of the best days of my life. I'll never forget the adrenaline rush of being thrust into the back of the chair diving into the water, and then screaming like a carefree schoolgirl after taking my first breath of air. With the success of our water test, it was time to take the catapult to bridge day. As you'll see, even the most experienced base jumpers with decades of parachuting experience were noticeably scared. Fire up that catapult! Okay, are you ready, Joe? Yep. All right, here's first catapult launch. In, in five. We've got the thumbs up.
idea ever. <laughs> no cameras. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> okay, here we go. What is it? And it's even better. Not a normal catapult. Five. Let's just do it upside three, down. Two, one. This is excellent. Let's see. Here we go. Have a good one. How much longer do we get? All right, I don't know. Thanks, Jason. Oh, yeah. I don't make it. Oh, See ya. Here we go. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. 100! We got an injection seat here today. And look at now. Or sometimes you need to come really high. Watch this. See how small you are. And
Now, three. And. All right, Joe, what do you think of the catapult? Well, once again, Jason Bell, Vertical Visions has delivered another fun experience. Um, everything off went out of hitch. Uh, going first was great. I was pretty nervous uh, right up on there with the first guy I first base jump. I don't know what was going to happen, uh, but everything went according to plan and had a great day. So what's next for our human catapult? Well, we'll be back at Bridge Day, of course. We're also working on some modifications to the rotating arm to increase our launch distances and further reduce vibrations. And don't forget, if you've got an access to a lake, swimming pool, tall cliff or building, this catapult is always available for runner purchase. 